How's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the unzip command. So we have a zip archive right here. I'm going to open up a terminal. Now the unzip command may be installed on your computer. If it's not, please check the description in the video and it will go over how you can get it installed. But the simple thing you need to do is uh, run the ls command. Now I'm running this in the home directory as you can see here. And when I look through the ls command prompt, I see appimages.zip. Now, let's say that my zip folder was in the documents folder. I would first have to go cd documents and then run the ls command. And then we have the zip file here. So you got to use the terminal to navigate where you're going to unzip something. But uh, anyway, so to unzip something, all you got to do is type in unzip and then the name of the file. So appimages.zip. Now that will, it'll ask me to overwrite stuff because I already got stuff in this folder here. I'm gonna say uh, all for yes, for everything. It's going to extract everything. And there we go. And that's how you unzip one of them. If you wanna unzip multiple, you can unzip multiple zip files with a command like this. Now this command will tell the unzip command the unzip tool, I should say, to unzip every zip archive in the folder. So if I have, let's say, if I make a copy of the app images that zip folder and just, uh, you know, call it app images two. So now we have two app images folders. If I want to unzip both of these at the same time, I would do unzip and then the quote marks here and then the asterisks and then zip and now this will get both of them so it's going to ask if I want to overwrite because I'm overwriting a folder that already exists but it's going to do everything and it's going to unzip everything so we see both archives have been unzipped now normally this doesn't work with unzip unless you specify it with the quote marks here if you just type in unzip and then like unzip and then zip it's not going to work you have to put the quote marks so anyways guys that's how you use the unzip command on linux i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and i will see you in the next one